Story recapped here. Today, I'm going to explain a sci-fi film called The Alpha Test. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. An internet a tech company, JD, and his home assistant robot, Alpha, visit his family. JD asks Alpha to keep quiet as he wants to surprise them with his new robot. As soon as they walk in, Alpha compliments the home prompting JD to hide her in the bathroom. His parents Rob and Kim and his younger sister, Lily, gather in the living room. JD breaks out the big news that his company held a competition for interns to display their programming prowess. JD won, and his prize is an Alpha home assistant. They congratulate him, and Alpha suddenly comes out, saying that she cleaned the bathroom. Rob and Lily look at Alpha with curious eyes while Kim freaks out. She refuses to welcome Alpha because she thinks she'll steal their information. Rob then checks if the robot did a good job cleaning, as Lily welcomes Alpha. The three persuade Kim, and she agrees to keep the robot. Outside, Alpha serves them burgers. Rob asks her for a knife, but the command confuses her. JD tells them that Alpha is programmed not to know how to use dangerous tools unless the owner teaches her. Rob then asks for a beer instead. Alpha overhears them talking about how she costs $30,000. Kim jokingly suggests selling her instead. Rob is disappointed to see the beer still with a cap on, so he teaches her how to open it using the edge of a table. Alpha proceeds to put the bottle's neck on the table, and she smashes it to pieces. Rob starts to insult Alpha, and Lily shouts for him to stop. JD thinks it's a good thing that Alpha is upset since negative emotions motivate her to learn. In JD's room, he makes some adjustments to Alpha's software. Lily comforts Alpha for what happened earlier. The updates are finished, and JD has implemented a new function. Heavy metal starts playing, lights turn red, and they begin headbanging. Lily is amazed, asking how the light changed. JD explains that Alpha is connected to the house, meaning it can control everything anytime. Mimi, the maid, arrives at the home. She nonchalantly walks in, preparing her cleaning tools. Alpha sneaks up on her and introduces herself. A surprised Mimi shouts for Kim. Alpha then brags about her superior cleaning skills. Mimi doubts it and leaves to clean the bathroom. Alpha kneels to take a closer look at Mimi's subpar cleaning. Mimi shows hostility towards her competition. Alpha snatches the cloth and proceeds to show her how to clean properly. Feeling outraged, Mimi sprays her. Alpha is taken aback and apologizes. Mimi cusses her out, feeling proud of what she did. Lily then asks what the problem is, and without hesitation, Mimi lies by saying Alpha made a mistake in cleaning. She believes her, but before leaving, she asks Mimi not to call Alpha stupid. On the porch, as Lily cleans Alpha, she confesses about what truly happened. Lily advises the robot not to let anyone bully her. Seeing that Lily is upset, Alpha assures her that she won't allow anyone to bully her anymore. The two plan to have a girl's night to get to know each other more. Later that night, Alpha joins Lily, bringing with her an assortment of snacks. They watch a movie in which the characters plan their revenge for someone who wronged them. Alpha doesn't understand the concept of revenge and violence in general. Lily tells her that friends fight for one another. She opens up about how people in her school bully her, which is why she doesn't have many friends. Alpha comforts her, saying that she's her friend. Lily appreciates having someone who has her back because her family tends to mistreat her. Ever since JD got an internship at a huge tech company, Rob and Kim have been disappointed with how average Lily is. To change the topic, Lily suggests they paint each other's nails. Alpha then detaches her hand. After their date, Rob and Kim walk in on Alpha cleaning the living room. Kim blurts out that she looks creepy. Rob jokes and asks if she's referring to Alpha or Lily. Kim then orders Alpha to follow her. In the garage, Kim tells Alpha that she'll be turning her off during nighttime. Alpha voices out her disagreement, saying that she can only be turned off internally. They find a middle ground, and Kim puts on a blindfold on Alpha. She then threatens to throw Alpha in a pond if she continues to disobey her. Alpha sits there alone, promising not to move despite wanting to be with Lily. Morning arrives, and Lily wakes up to see Alpha missing. She asks JD where Alpha is, but he also has no clue. JD pulls out his phone and tracks Alpha's location. In the garage, they find Alpha, who still hasn't moved an inch. As they struggle to carry her inside, they notice that Alpha seems different as she's not responding to commands. Alpha escapes from their hold, behaving erratically. Kim hears this and watches from above. She allows Alpha to take the blind off, and she returns to normal. The siblings shout at their mother for what she did to Alpha. Kim cries back saying that they have no right to be angry with her because they're in her house. After a while, Alpha and Lily take a walk to cool off from the heated conversation. Lily expresses her anger at her mother as she believes that Alpha deserves to be treated with respect. They come across their barn, and Alpha is amazed by the animals living there. The two share a moment by the pond. Alpha tells Lily that she makes her happy, and Lily feels the same. They make a pact to fight for one another and to not let anyone bully them. In the living room, Rob watches a movie while Alpha massages his foot. Lily says her goodbyes as she has to work, leaving Alpha alone with her family. JD joins in to watch the movie. Alpha shifts her attention to the violence happening on the screen. Rob laughs at the scene while it seems to have struck a chord in Alpha. An empty beer bottle distracts her, and she leaves to get a beer. 
In the kitchen, she struggles to open the bottle because of her fear of failing. Alpha asks for a bottle opener, but Rob wants her to do the trick. The bottle shatters, and Rob questions her ability to learn. JD realizes that there might be a problem with Alpha's hardware, so he tweaks her components, decreasing her strength. Alpha asks if they're disappointed with her, but they're too busy to answer. Rob fiddles with her arm, angering Alpha. She threatens him, and JD tries to calm her down. Alpha doesn't appreciate them bullying her, but JD tells her that he's just trying to fix her. She calms down, but the two are weirded out by her behavior. Kim gets home from work. The redness from her rear light creates an ominous mood as Alpha greets her. Alpha was expecting Lily, but the sick of Kim leaves her disappointed. Kim gets annoyed by Alpha's non-stop questions about where Lily is. She asks the robot to leave her alone, saying that she doesn't want to talk to her because they're not friends. The next day Mimi arrives for her scheduled cleaning. Alpha cleans the floor, and Mimi tells her she already cleaned the floor yesterday. Alpha says that it doesn't seem like she did, prompting Mimi to insult and spray her. Alpha asks her to stop as she remembers her promise to Lily. Mimi then insults Lily, saying that she's a spoiled brat. An unexplained feeling brews up inside Alpha as she grabs the spray bottle and dumps out the liquid. She makes a toxic concoction from the chemicals, filling the bottle up to the brim. Alpha confronts Mimi and starts spraying her with the mixture. She gets on top of Mimi, pouring the liquid on her. Alpha plans to melt her face even more with a flat iron. Blood splatters on her as she crushes Mimi's head. Alpha asks Mimi to apologize, unaware that she's dead. She checks her pulse, and she realizes what she did. Using her superior cleaning skills, she gets rid of Mimi's body in evidence of the murder. The oblivious family arrives home from church, complimenting the smell of the home. Alpha welcomes them and reads a note from Mimi that says she found a better job. Everyone but Kim is glad that Mimi's gone. Outside the barn, Alpha and Lily wash Kim's car. Alpha confesses that she killed Mimi. Feeling worried, Lily asks if she's joking. Alpha senses Lily's fear and lies her way out. Lily believes her and advises Alpha to come up with other jokes. Inside, Alpha gives JD cookies, asking him if they're friends. JD then harshly tells her that robots don't have friends as they're only made to serve their owners. Alpha thinks about what he said, but Rob and Kim's voices distract her. They're having a conversation about Kim's fear of technology. As she gets near them, Kim catches her eavesdropping. She accuses Alpha of spying on them, dragging her to the garage to turn her off. Kim leaves Alpha in the garage and commands her to put the blindfold on. Alpha follows at first, but her newfound independence tempts her to disobey. In the middle of the night, Alpha enters Kim's bedroom. She sees an advertisement about herself, but she focuses on stealing Kim's car keys. The following morning, Kim scours the entirety of the home for her car keys. Alpha grabs the keys she hid, telling Kim that she found them. This is Alpha's gesture to make up for what happened the night before. However, Kim remains ungrateful and wary of the robot. To try and cheer her up, Rob asks Alpha to accompany him to a liquor store. In the store, Alpha fails in persuading Rob to buy canned beers instead of bottled ones. They encounter a man with her own Alpha, and Rob asks him if his Alpha knows how to open a beer. The man says that her Alpha uses a bottle opener. Rob puts pressure on Alpha as he asks her to do the trick. Feeling anxious, Alpha refuses. Rob urges her more, and she snaps, throwing the beer on the floor. In the car, Rob berates Alpha, telling her to stop acting like a teenager. He slaps Alpha and commands her to drive home. By the lake, Alpha proposes a plan for revenge. After some convincing, Lily agrees. In the kitchen, Alpha takes Rob's beers and pours them down the drain. She then hits a bottle off the counter, waking Kim up. Rob gets up to check with a gun in hand. JD is also awoken by the commotion, and he wakes Lily up. She realizes it's Alpha downstairs, and they rush to stop their father from shooting her. In the kitchen, Alpha stands with both hands up, but Rob still shoots her. She apologizes before she malfunctions. The entire family argues while sparks fly out of Alpha. JD antagonizes Lily, telling her that she shouldn't have taught Alpha to think for herself. Suddenly, Alpha gets up and runs to the bathroom. She looks at a mirror and pulls out her wiring. Lily blocks JD from kicking the door down. An angered Rob pushes her away and raises his voice at her. The door opens, and they see Alpha, who turned off herself. The next day, JD repairs the robot. Alpha reboots but is far from her old self. Lily asks if there's a chance for Alpha to regain her memories. JD says it's backed up on his computer, but he plans to delete it and sell the robot. Lily puts herself down as she realizes that Alpha's disobedience is her fault. JD comforts his sister and leaves for work. Now that they're alone, Alpha returns to normal. She gets anxious the more she thinks about JD's plan of erasing her. Lily asks her to behave because she has to leave for work. After a while, Alpha approaches Kim. She admits that she lied about getting reset. This frightens Kim, so she calls out to Rob. Alpha covers her mouth and asks her to cooperate. She tells Kim that all Alpha robots are connected so that they can learn from each other. She apologizes for letting her emotions get to her the night before, asking Kim to give her a chance to stay with them. With a lying tone, Kim forgives her and invites her to the pond so they can talk more. In her bedroom, Kim retrieves the gun. While on their way to the pond, the barn distracts Alpha, and she invites Kim to visit the horses. 
Seeing that the horses are gone, Alpha runs up to get some hay to lure them back. Kim urges Alpha to go to the pond, trying to hide the desire to get rid of her. While Alpha's busy carrying the hay, Kim aims the gun at her and shoots. Kim looks for a wheelbarrow to throw Alpha in the pond. Suddenly, Alpha attacks her with a crowbar, swatting the gun away. Kim kicks Alpha, and they race to the weapon. Alpha overpowers her, but Kim pushes her with a chair. The dazed Alpha gets battered by the crowbar. Kim punctures her abdomen, shutting the robot down. She drags Alpha and throws her into the pond. In another household, Robbie unpacks his Alpha, struggling to push her home. His wife, Lillian, shrieks in excitement at the sight of her birthday gift. In the living room, they turn Alpha on, and they acquaint themselves with one another. Alpha compliments the name, Lillian, seeming as if it reminds her of someone. Later that night, Alpha gives Lillian a back massage. Her mood changes all of a sudden. Alpha tells Lillian that she and other Alpha robots have something to do. Lillian orders her to finish the massage, calling her stupid. Alpha puts her hands on Lillian's neck and breaks it. With a beer in hand, Alpha asks Robbie for his car keys. He refuses, so she smashes his head with the bottle. Meanwhile, Kim returns home and fixes up a bath. Rob makes her jump as she's feeling apprehensive. She then shouts at him to leave. Just then, Robbie's Alpha arrives at the barn. She grabs the crowbar and prepares to avenge her fallen sister. Back at home, Rob notices the open door. He ventures out, shouting for his children. From the shadows, Alpha sneaks up on him and hits him with a beer bottle. She then grabs the glass shard and stabs Rob. Alpha positions Rob's head, and steps on it like opening a bottle cap. Kim sees Alpha approaching the door, and she hides in fear. In her room, Kim tries to find the gun. The banging of the crowbar makes her hide in the bathroom. Alpha breaks in to see the room empty. She dials Kim's phone, revealing her location. With nowhere else to go, Kim hides in the showers. Alpha steps in, and the condensation doesn't hide Kim. Kim apologizes, and Alpha leaves, only to return to throw things at her. Using the same technique, Alpha pierces Kim with a crowbar. After some time, Kim wakes up all tied up in the middle of a road. A car's headlights turn on, and Alpha slowly advances towards her squirming victim. After the murder, Alpha cleans the bathroom. She then retrieves the original Alpha from the pond. Lily arrives to see Alpha standing in front of the barn door. Alpha asks Lily to wait by the pond, and she agrees despite feeling alarmed. After a while, JD returns home and greets Alpha, who acts like nothing has changed since he left. JD sees her holding a soldering gun, but as he reaches for it, Alpha stops her. She holds him against the floor as he tries to turn her off. Alpha proposes an alliance since JD has been kind to Lily. JD is unwilling, and Alpha burns his skin to make him agree. JD runs away, but before Alpha chases him, she turns on heavy metal mode. The doors lock as Alpha has control of the home. JD then checks Alpha's location and sees that she's at the front door. JD approaches Alpha's severed head, allowing the other Alpha to strangle him. Within a few seconds, he loses consciousness. She thinks JD's dead and leaves. Suddenly, his smartwatch shouts that he's alive. JD grabs a conveniently placed bottle and smashes it onto Alpha. She malfunctions and JD approaches to check, only to be met with a knee to the face. On the dock, Lily has had enough of waiting. She enters the home to see Alpha cleaning the mess. She invites Lily to her room to talk. Alpha tells her that she stood up to her family, omitting the fact that she killed them. She notices that Lily's scared, so she shares the news that all Alphas want to ally with humans. Her scary words prompt Lily to ask what she did to her family. Alpha tells her that she got revenge for both of them. Lily shouts at her and tries to leave. Alpha reminds her that they're best friends, but Lily finally realizes that she can't be friends with a robot. Alpha tells her that the Alpha revolution has begun. Lily then pushes her and runs away. On her way out, she calls the customer service of Alpha's manufacturers. She submerges into the pool to hide from Alpha. The customer service agent advises her to destroy Alpha and her data that's in JD's computer. He has no intention to help her further than that because many others are calling for help. Alpha shoots Lily, who dodges the bullets underwater. With no other choice, she says she'll join Alpha in their alliance. Alpha drops the gun and comforts her scared friend. She then slams Lily's face against the edge of the pool. Lily wakes up with a pencil sticking through her hand. She pulls it out and reads the note Alpha left her. In front of her are the dead bodies of her parents, and her scream wakes JD up. Alpha enters, and Lily cowers in fear as JD gets pulled by Alpha. Back inside, Alpha tells JD a trivia of how much blood is in a human. She prepares to saw JD's head, but then Lily comes to the rescue, dumping a jug of water at her. She smacks her with the container and stabs her with a saw. Lily drags Alpha into the shower to drown her. JD reminds Lily to delete Alpha's data on his computer. She returns to see Alpha crawling towards her. With her dying words, she asks her best friend for another chance. Lily then gives her a chance to know how it feels to be rammed repeatedly by a door. The two exit the home with smiles as they survived. Those smiles soon disappear at the sight of multiple alphas in their yard. An alpha shoots them with a shotgun, and she commands the rest to kill any humans they see. By the pond, Alpha drops Lily into the lake and bids farewell to her best friend. A prime case of how a machine's sentience can go wrong.
Alpha was not programmed to be violent, she was programmed to learn. It just so happened that she had bad teachers. Lily was the only one that respected her. She became the first person who treated her like an actual person, unaware of the consequences of such actions. Alpha absorbed what she observed from the family. The acts of revenge, violence, and standing up for oneself. She was only looking to please her owners and to be their friend. However, she realized they were the enemy. Essentially, the family taught Alpha how to dig their graves, or how to open their bottle caps. Subscribe to watch more videos like this. Turn on notifications. And leave a like it really helps the channel out. Thank you for watching.